Hi. This one's on countries. This is Every Country in the World by Wendover Productions. We'll start with okay. Afghanistan, the first country alphabetically. Afghanistan is one of the few countries worldwide to be offset from Greenwich Mean Time by a 30 minute interval. It's at GMT plus four hours and 30 minutes. While China is one of the many countries to only have one time zone, except it's ginormous. So that means that stepping yeah. over the 47 mile long Afghanistan-China border jumps you forward by three and a half hours. That's the largest single time zone jump on earth. China, in all its craziness, has a rather ambitious plan to build a high-speed railroad from Beijing up across the Bering Strait and down into the United States, which happens to be the home of 41%. But they've been trying to plan that for years, so I'm going to file that one under probably not anytime soon. For productions viewers. Up in the northwest of the U.S., Point Roberts, a part of the mainland U.S., is cut off from the U.S. by Canada. And since it doesn't have a high school, students have to cross into Canada, then back into the U.S. each day on their way to school. Canada happens to be the second largest country on Earth and has more lakes than the rest of the world combined. It's so huge, in fact, that its easternmost point is closer to Croatia than it is to Vancouver. One of Croatia's thousands of islands is Rab, the birthplace of the sculptor Marinas, who went on and founded San Marino, the fifth smallest country in the world and one of three to be completely surrounded by another country. One of the others is the Vatican, the smallest sovereign state in the world. And there's also Lesotho, which is home to one of Africa's seven ski resorts. Lesotho is of course surrounded by South Africa, which is the only country in the world to have three capitals. Cape Town is the seat of the parliament, Pretoria is home to the president, and Bloemfontein is the judicial capital. South Africa also almost completely surrounds another country, Swaziland, where roads are so bad that two of the last four transport ministers died in car accidents. While mostly surrounded huh? by South Africa. I don't even think it's called that anymore. No. This video is six years old, so feel free to update anything or expand on anything. Swaziland's eastern border is and with let us know the new name of Swaziland. Whose name scores higher in Scrabble than any other one word country. But in second place for Scrabble is Kyrgyzstan, which is home to six enclaves, the smallest of which is part of Uzbekistan and is only two miles wide. In Uzbekistan, no river leads to the ocean. They all drain into endorheic basins where water evaporates out. Uzbekistan is one of only two countries worldwide to be double landlocked, as in landlocked by landlocked countries. In this case, every surrounding country of Uzbekistan also ends in Stan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Afghanistan, and Turkmenistan. The other double landlocked country is Liechtenstein, a tiny and historically neutral nation. Beautiful. In their last military engagement in 1886, none of the 80 soldiers were injured or killed, and they actually returned with 81 people, since they made a quote, new Italian friend. Italy is home to the Broi Servigna Ski Resort, yes. <laughs> where you can ski across the border into Switzerland. Switzerland is rather paranoid about war, to the extent that 3,000 points of entry into the country are rigged to blow at an instant in case of invasion. Switzerland is also home to one end of the shortest regularly scheduled commercial international flight in the world, a six-minute, ten-mile jaunt over to Germany, where it's not actually illegal to escape prison. Seriously, they say it's only human nature. Germany is home to half of one of the world's that's interesting. They're like, if you're smart enough to get out of here, just go. Get on with it. Oh. There must be some type of stipulation on that, though, because I guess if you kill a guard, that's still illegal. Yeah, we'll have to look into it. few internationally divided islands, and the Polish side of this island, despite being only 200 feet from mainland Poland, is not connected by any bridges to Poland. So just like Point Roberts, residents have to cross international borders to get to their own country. Poland also happens to have been part of Sweden's monarchy for a brief eight years in the 16th century. Sweden has an internationally divided island too, and this one is a mere seven acres large. The border looks like this because Finland accidentally built a lighthouse in Swedish territory, and so they just readjusted the border to make everyone happy. Finland has exactly 187,888 lakes, and its northernmost point is actually- That's a lot of lakes. And then now considering that Canada has more lakes than all of the world combined, he just said. Wow. Closer to Greenland than Poland, due to the curvature of the Earth. Greenland isn't actually a country, so I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's a dependency of Denmark, where it's impossible to be more than 30 miles from the ocean. The wife of Denmark's Crown Prince, Crown Princess Mary, was born in Australia, which is the sixth largest country on Earth, and is home to the longest fence in the world, a 3,500-mile structure to keep wild dogs out of the fertile southeast region. Bingos? The middle of Australia also has practically nobody and nothing in it. 
except a 297 mile long, precisely straight section of railroad track. Australia the freed the country that, Brunei from occupation back in World War II, which is one of the few countries worldwide to be comprised of two comparably sized sections. St. Kitts and Nevis is also split into two, but that's because it's a two island nation and also the smallest country in the Americas. In St. Kitts and Nevis, you can gain citizenship by making a $400,000 real estate investment, much like Bulgaria, where people nod up and down to signify no and shake left and right to mean yes. Bulgaria is one of the- There are some other countries in which you can obtain citizenship through real estate investment. In Europe, they usually call those golden visas. I know that Portugal does it, Spain does it. I think Greece still does it. And then there must be some other ones. Let us know if you know of another country. It does that. Few countries to have an embassy in North Korea, which created its own time zone in 2015 for no real reason than to be different. North Korea is only separated by one country from Norway, where more than half the population Russia. lives below this line. Between Norway and North Korea is, of course, Russia, the largest country in the world. Its easternmost point is, in fact, closer to Mexico than Moscow. Mexico once had three different presidents in one hour during a military coup, but also accustomed to short regimes is Alsace-Lorraine in France, which was a fully recognized independent country for 12 short days between being a part of Germany and France at the end of World War I. France, of course, had an enormous empire, including Algeria, which is the largest country in Africa, and unlike some of its bordering countries, is quite nice to women. 70% of the country's lawyers are female. Right next door to Algeria is Morocco, which has de facto control of some of Western Sahara, a place that's really not part of any country. That's why it's always blank on data maps. Morocco surrounds two Spanish exclaves, Ceuta and Melilla, which are politically Ceuta. part of mainland Spain, rather than overseas territories, despite being in northern Africa. Spain once had an enormous empire, part of which was Micronesia, which is now a US-associated state, meaning that they're an independent nation, but the US covers defense and funding. Micronesian citizens can join the US military without becoming a US resident, a right only given to freely associated states. Their currency is also the US dollar. Palau is also a nearby U.S. associated state, which is often compared to Fiji since they're both idyllic Pacific Island destinations, even though they're over 3,500 miles apart. Fiji was a British colony up until 1970, and you have no idea how hard it was to avoid using this transition up until now. I could have used it with Nauru, St. Kitts and Nevis, Brunei, Australia, South Africa, Canada, <laughs> the United States, and Afghanistan, but yeah. I kept it for now. The UK is home to the shortest regularly scheduled commercial flight in the world between Westray and Papa Westray in the Scottish Isles. It costs 17 pounds, takes 53 seconds, and traverses only 1.7 miles. The UK has two exclaves, both of which are overseas territories. One is Gibraltar, right across from Ceuta, and the other is Akrotiri and Decalia on the island of Cyprus. There are border control agents from three countries on Cyprus, the UK, Cyprus, and Turkey. Northern Cyprus is a self-declared state only recognized by Turkey, who helps them keep control of the territory with a heavy military presence and border control agents. Istanbul, Turkey is the only city on the planet to span two continents, Europe and Asia, although there are plenty of countries on two continents. In Egypt, the Sinai Peninsula sits in Asia, while the rest is in Africa. Just past the southern border of Egypt is Bertawil, a piece of land claimed by no country since Egypt and Sudan disagree on the where name. their borders are. Sudan recently split into two and created South Sudan, the world's youngest UN-recognized country. The second youngest country is Serbia, which up until 2006 was called Serbia and Montenegro, but split after a referendum. Montenegro also happens to be a town in Costa Rica, where about 100 people live. The capital of Costa Rica, San Jose, only allows car owners to drive six days a week to fight pollution and congestion, so the last digit of license plates correspond to their banned day. Costa Rica's southern border is with Panama, home to the Panama Canal, which, counterintuitively, has its Atlantic end, the ocean to the east, to the west, and its Pacific end, the ocean to the west, to the east. Mm. Panama's southern border is with Colombia, but there's not one road crossing this 50-mile jungle, which means it's impossible to drive between North and South America. You probably that know that Colombia fact. was once part of Spain, but so was the Netherlands. It was called the Spanish Netherlands. Yeah. The Netherlands is also home to Barley Nassau, huh. one of the most messed up borders in the world. Belgium is well known for having a UN headquarters, and so does Nairobi, Kenya, the suspected birthplace of the human race. Kenya's northern neighbor is Somalia, which received its first ATM machine in 2014. Somalia has had three separate wars with Ethiopia in the last century, and Ethiopia's national airline was the second to receive the 787 Dreamliner, despite being the 13th poorest country. Do you guys watch people review planes and trains on YouTube? 
I do. And the Boeing 787 Ethiopian Dreamliner looks pretty nice inside. Both business class and economy. I'm going to link you a guy who has gone on this plane and reviewed it. And then he also went on the GAN, which is the train through Australia. Yeah, that's how I spend my time. Ethiopia also has another one of those internationally divided islands. This one with Djibouti, which is home to the lowest point in Africa, Lake Asal, at 509 feet below sea level. Djibouti also hosts the only U.S. military base in Africa, and Israel hosts one of the smallest ones, Demona Radar Base. Despite being a Middle Eastern country, Israel competes in Eurovision and many European sports leagues since they're culturally much closer to Europe than the Middle East. Israel has one of the weirder international borders with Palestine, which is only a country depending on who you ask. The largest Palestinian community outside the Arab world is in Chile, which is one of the only countries really? to have a government-sponsored UFO research organization. Chile is the southernmost mainland country in the world, but doesn't have the southernmost commercial airport. That title goes to Argentina with their Ushuaia Malvinas International Airport. This spectacular waterfall is the border between Argentina and Brazil, which is home to the Amazon River, which doesn't have a single bridge over it. Not one. It's just in an area where practically nobody lives. Hacifi, Brazil true? is closer to Dakar, Senegal than to Port Alegre in southwestern Brazil. Just off the coast of Senegal is Cape Verde, which is pretty much paradise. They have a high human development index score, high GDP, high literacy rate, and the lowest recorded temperature in history there was 50 degrees Fahrenheit. As a former Portuguese colony, Cape Verde speaks Portuguese, which is the sixth most spoken language in the world, even though its origin country, Portugal, is smaller than Kentucky. They just have an enormous wow. empire, which for a while included Indonesia, which has another one of those internationally divided islands with Papua New Guinea, similar to Hispaniola Island, which is divided between Columbus. Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Hispaniola is the 22nd largest island in the world, but Madagascar is number four. It's also the largest single island country. 85 million years ago, Madagascar was connected to India before the continent shifted. But Sri Lanka was connected to India as recently as 1480 via a land bridge that has since eroded. Sri Lanka is just north of the equator, but right on the equator is Ecuador. Its capital, Quito, is only 20 miles from the equator, so its day length varies by only 15 minutes between winter and summer. Although, since the country is split by the equator, winter and summer happens at the same time in the same country. Ecuador is one of the 30 countries to have an Antarctic research base, and right next door to Ecuador's base is Peru's. Copacabana, not that one, this one, in Bolivia can only be reached by driving through Peru. Bolivia, despite being a landlocked country, maintains a 5,000 person navy, although Mongolia, also a landlocked country, maintains a navy that has one ship, a tugboat, and seven total sailors. Mongolia is also the least dense country on the planet, with only five people per square mile. While they may seem unintimidating now, the Mongolian Empire was once the largest contiguous land empire in history. Part of that empire was Cambodia, which has changed its name six times in the last 65 years. Kingdom of Cambodia, Khmer Republic. Oh, huh. Democratic Kampuchea, People's Republic of Kampuchea, State of Cambodia. Now it's the Kingdom of Cambodia. 95% oh. of Cambodia's population is Theravada Buddhist. The other major branch of Buddhism is Mayahana Buddhism, which is practiced in Japan, where, out of the total population of 126 million, they had three gun murders in 2012. Iceland, however, can top that because they had one murder total in 2012. Of course, well, Iceland doesn't small. have a huge population, which makes it seem less impressive, until you consider that 30% of Iceland's residents own guns. 60% of that population, okay. however, lives in this circle. Iceland was also the first country to recognize Armenia's independence, and Armenia separates Azerbaijan from its Nightshivan exclave. And since the Armenia-Azerbaijan border is closed, residents of Nightshivan have to go all the way around Armenia to get to their own country. Azerbaijan's national soccer that team has played Andorra's five times in the last few decades, and four of those games have ended in a 0-0 tie. Andorra is the largest country in the world to not have an airport, which is less That's impressive small. when you consider that they're the 19th smallest in the world. The smallest country in the you world just to go have to the a major Barcelona international airport, airport and drive is the Maldives, hours. the eighth smallest country. This airport has dozens of destinations and is on a small island with no land connections to other islands, which means that once you land, you have to either take a boat or a seaplane to your destination. One of the airport's destinations is Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, which is home to the world's largest roundabout. 
in Putrajaya at two miles in diameter. Malaysia is the only country connected by road to Singapore, the largest surviving city-state in the world. Despite having hundreds of skyscrapers, Singapore is not the densest country in the world. That title goes to Monaco, which is less than one square mile large. Monaco has no income tax, much like the Bahamas, which is one of two countries to have the word the in its official name, the other one being the Gambia. The Gambia's interesting shape comes from the flow of the River Gambia, whose watershed reaches all the way the to Guinea, which is one of three countries to have the word Guinea in its name. The other two are Guinea-Bissau and Equatorial Guinea. Guinea was once the word for the entire West African region, so when these countries became independent from their colonizers, many chose to include Guinea in their names. Equatorial Guinea's capital actually isn't on the mainland, it's on an offshore island, and despite its name, the equator doesn't actually intersect Equatorial Guinea. Did he not say Papua New Guinea as well before? But the country is on both sides of the equator since they have sovereignty over Annabon Island to the south of the equator. This is similar to Kiribati, a nation comprising of a few dozen islands in the Pacific. Kiribati, Kiribati. is the first place on Earth to experience New Year's since their time zone is UTC plus 14, a time zone exclusive to these islands. Kiribati is close friends with Cuba since Cuba sent doctors to the islands who reduced the child mortality rate by 80%. Cuba, the only Caribbean island to have a commercial railroad, is one of the few remaining communist states. One of the others is Laos, the only landlocked country in Southeast Asia, which borders Vietnam, also communist, and the 14th most populous country in the world, despite having the size of about New Mexico. Vietnam is good political friends with Venezuela, who is not great friends with bordering Guyana, since Guyana thinks that the border looks like this, and Venezuela thinks the border looks like this. Guyana, the only English-speaking country in South Small America, discrepancy. borders Suriname, the smallest country in South America, and the only country, other than the Netherlands, whose sole primary the language is, is Dutch. Suriname was our 98th country, so that means that we're halfway through and that that's the end of part one no. of every country in the world. Hmm. However, part two will be out on Tuesday, December 13th, okay. so make sure you're subscribed. We'll do part two next week because I need to know how this ends now. This was probably the video I had the most fun with all week. Part one of... Every Country in the World by Wendover Productions. You're going to find it linked in the bio. I love watching things like this. We watch so much about other galaxies and prehistory, which is also interesting. But something like this, something like this or this specifically, reminds me that there's a lot of our world that I don't know about. There are a few countries I didn't know the names of before. And then countries that I only know in name, but I have no clue what goes on there culturally or what customs they have, what the people even look like. So much more to learn. And so many things I'll die not knowing because I'm just going to guess I won't be able to visit every single country in the world before I die. It sounded a bit dark, but I meant that in a humbling way. So anyway, uh, no literary recommendation today. There's nothing that you can really... Nope, I don't have one for you. So. Leave your thoughts on any of this, and thanks for watching with me.